Hey, welcome back. So inevitably we've seen that uh, even though there are no items in the checkout or in the cart, we are still asked to enter this information here, which is not the ideal situation. So we can easily fix this, of course, by going to checkout.php in the views. And this is where the cart begins. So check out, oh, this is fine. Please register, use, to easily get access. Okay, so there's a message here, but I think starting from this message, the whole form here, up to them. And let's look at the whole section, shall we? No, I think not the whole section, just the form. What's this one? Uh, no, just the form itself or just above the form here. So what I want to do is add an if statement to make sure that uh, we only show this if we do have some uh, data to show for it, yes? So I'll say if, if there, if is array row, like so mm -hmm. like that okay and then we'll do an end if at the very bottom just after the form paste and put end semicolon like so refresh yes yes now we see nothing very good so let's duplicate this and put an else statement here else full colon yes mm -hmm. and let's add a div shall we and we're going to say uh, please add some items in the card first Ooh something like this refresh ah there's the message not very clear message is it now so let's put a div just to encapsulate it oh it's already in a div mm, look at me so let's add just a little bit of styling here zoom in mm -hmm. so first of all display uh, block so it covers the whole width and what are we gonna say actually you know what this is why the paragraph exists yeah p and p let's see what that does ah it doesn't change much does it my bad okay so now what i'm going to say is text align center and then let's do a font size of 18 pixels like that i think what i should have done is put the h1 instead so bear with me here uh, let me try h2 and h2 refresh oh yeah there we go looking great big warning right there so maybe h3 make it a bit smaller all I want now is to text align to the center. Center. Yes, refresh. Okay, so please add some items in the cart first. Now the thing is, uh, we need this back to cart, even though we we have nothing in the cart. So let's move this. Uh, down here let's see what the does okay so back to cart that's good let me move it along here move this along all right so I think we are in the ballpark here mm -hmm. refresh and let's go back to the cart so in the cart as well we have a similar issue so even though we can't go to checkout back to cart 
we have this uh, r sort expects parameter 1 to be array boolean given on line 58 in controllers cart hmm. so i think it's a similar issue that we had to fix here so i'm just going to copy that from the checkout controller now let's go to the cart controller yes yes right here uh -huh. paste close okay refresh problemo solved yes mm -hmm. now if somebody jumps to the checkout please add some items in the cart first let's go to the cart no items were found in the cart continue shopping and let's add some something here there we go back uh, there back mm -hmm. then check out and now we can see some goodies here okay very nice mm -hmm. so in the next video we collect our much needed data see you then